Welcome to Chemistry with Alberta Hensley. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Alberta Hensley with Cincinnati Public Schools, Withrow International High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. And today I'm going to show you how to cut and bend some glass tubing, a physical change. So, the first thing I want to do is cut the glass. And just to make sure no shards get into my eyes, I'm going to put my goggles on. And I'm going to measure with my fingers. It turns out that the width of my hand is about 10 centimeters, and each finger is about 2 centimeters, so I'm going to measure with uh, 18 centimeters, which is 5 fingers plus 3. So it's about there. And when I cut this, I'm going to do it with one sweep. I only want to make one cut. You don't want to go back and forth. So just one cut. And you should get just a little tiny scratch in the glass. And um, I'm not going to do it yet, but I want, the idea is to put your thumbs behind this and push away. Push it away into that. Now I'm not going to do that without some paper, just to protect my hands, just in case something happens. So I'm going to put a little piece of paper behind me, and then I'm going to snap it. There we go. So I've got a nice little piece of glass, just the right length. And I'm going to do two things to this. I'm going to fire polish the two ends, and then I'm going to bend it into a 90 degree angle. So right now I need to light my Bunsen burner. And that's a three-step process. Goggles, match, gas, and when I fire polish, I'm going to just put it into the very tip of the blue flame there. And if I hold the glass in the middle, I can do both ends at the and just fire polish both ends. You will never put two pieces of glass into the fire at the same time. They will just melt into each other. So no two students at a time, just one student gets to fire polish. And then you will put this down, hopefully, on a piece of wire gauze like this, and wait for it to cool. And you will know when it's cool, when you put your finger on it, and it doesn't burn. Remember, the first aid for a hot finger is to put it under cold water. So I've waited a couple minutes, maybe while the other student uh, fire polished his or her things. And now I'm going to bend the middle. And the idea is to put it into the flame and then I can use my wire gauze as a measure of how to do the 90 degree angle. So I just hold my glass at the end and I just turn it a little bit. Your fingers will not burn. You do not need gloves. And you can almost see it's starting to get soft. Right there you can see what they call red hot. Keep it in that top of that little blue inner cone. And I think you can almost see it starting to bend. I'm almost, can you see it starting to go? Now I can slowly bend it or do it quick. Close. There I have it. I've bent glass. A nice physical change. Enjoy.